you know I had to do it to him. Uh, I didn't want it to come to this, but uh, here we are. <laughs> We're doing it. Y'all asked for it. Um, so here we are. It's fine. Welcome back to another video. This video might be going up a little bit later than usual, so sorry about that, but it's been a really busy weekend despite corona going around. I told you guys in last week's video that this week's video was going to be a very interesting one. So if you can read at a third grade level, <laughs> you already know what we're doing. So a little bit of backstory, back in like my high school days in like 2013, 2014, around that year span, words, I don't know. Um, I was a really big fan of these two guys on YouTube and at the time they went by exclamation point <laughs> and they were a band and I use band very loosely because they sang they weren't good, they never did shows, but they were a band. Anyways, <laughs> going past that, I was like obsessed with these guys. Like they were my entire life when I was like 15, 16, and it was just really bad. Like I would always be tweeting at them, I'm pretty sure I had an Instagram account for them at one point. It was just bad, but that's not what this video is about. I mean, I guess it is, but today we're gonna be ragging on them. <laughs> so Danny Paul, if you see this, I'm so sorry. Uh, you probably don't even remember me because it's been so long, but I had to do this to you. So if you've been keeping up with YouTube or social media at all in the past few months, you know that Paul especially, or Troy, I guess, has been under a lot of fire lately and mainly because he scammed his younger fans out of money on this live streaming app it goes with musically i don't remember the name of it watch other videos if you want like a more deep analysis on this but yeah he scammed his fans out of money that they probably had to get from their parents credit card because you know they're like 12 and they do not make their own money um and also for claiming that he is someone he's not and he just posted a video like a few weeks ago saying that he did change his name to Troy Becker so I don't know but that's who we're gonna start with we're gonna start with Paul because I have a lot less dirt on Paul and honestly Paul is the better of the two so I'm gonna be saying Paul, not Troy, just because uh, it's less confusing, I feel. So, as I mentioned earlier, I was a huge fan of Paul and Danny back in the day. And I was a Danny girl, I'm not gonna lie. So, didn't pay as much attention to Paul, which is why I don't have as much dirt on him. It's whatever. But the one thing that I do remember from my exclamation point days that Paul did do that made me very uncomfortable as like a 14 year old, keep that in mind, I was like 14, is I was watching his uh, Ustream, wow, saying that just throws me back into 2014, it's fine. Um, I was watching his Ustream and it was just him, Danny wasn't there, and I had to get a shower, you know, get ready for bed, it's whatever. I had school the next day. And I told him, I was just like, yo, I gotta go, I gotta go take a shower, it's whatever. And he saw it, and what does this man say? He says, oh. <laughs> God. Just remembering, remembering this makes me want to just uh, die, it's fine. Uh, he's... He sees the comment and he says, oh, like, okay, Samantha, have a fun shower. I don't know why I wasn't invited, though. <laughs> Sir. Sir? Sir. <laughs> I am 14. Calm down. Like, it <clears throat> Disgusting. We do not approve. We do not stand. I don't know why I didn't cut y'all off right there and then, but it's fine. Paul always had like this really weird vibe to him, but 14 year old Sammy was too oblivious to care because I was like, oh, they're semi decently attractive men that 
sing really poorly, but obviously I was looking over that too, so it's fine. So that's literally the only thing I have on Paul. Now, Danny. <laughs> I've got more dirt on Danny, and I hate to do this to him because he was literally my favorite person from the age of 14 to 17, but I have to do it to him. Maybe if he sees that people are calling him out on his bullshit, that maybe he'll stop being a creep. I don't know. I don't know. Is he still doing this? I don't know, but I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Danny Edge, aka D Danny Nodar, but he goes by Danny Edge on the internet, or Dirty Dan, or the ASMR channel for relaxing music to sleep or study to, or whatever the hell. I don't know. <sighs> this man, someone pointed it out in one of their videos, he acts very young, but he's like my age. I'm 23. This man is at least 22. Uh, like, okay, you wanna, you wanna connect with your younger audience, that's fine, but you literally act like you're 12. But that's not even where, that's not even like a problem compared to everything else. So, back when I was in the exclamation point fandom, I noticed that Danny was being very sexual towards his underage fans. Like, he would ask some of my friends, there was this one girl that I was particularly really close to, I'm not gonna say her name because privacy reasons, um, she would literally text me and be like, uh, Danny just like sent me like unsolicited like ass pics, which I know that sounds weird, but this is 100% true. <laughs> and she'd be like, yeah, like I'm just sitting here chilling, like doing whatever, watching TV, it's fine. And he just sent me a picture of his ass that I did not ask for. And I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> that's a little weird. So me being a 14 year old, I'm just like, oh, that's a little weird, but like it's Danny Edge. Like he's cute as hell, like eh, it's fine. And then uh, he started doing it to more and more girls and it got a little creepy to the point where I obviously had to stop standing. And there was this other instance where with the same friend I was talking about, he was texting her because we were all good friends. We all, all had each other's numbers. It was fine. Um, basically, she was asking him about me and he's just she's just like, oh, like, would you ever date her? And he straight up said, like, yeah, like, I'd date the hell out of her. Not those exact words, but it's something like that. It's been, like, six years. I do not remember word for word. I wish I still had the screenshots, because I know that these 12-year-old ass fans are going to come for me in the comments, and they're going to be like, none of this ever happened. Listen, what do I have to gain from making this up? What do I have to gain? Anyways, <laughs> like, obviously, I'm not going to get caught from this. Do you see how many subscribers I have? Exactly. <laughs> so, literally, he was like, oh yeah, like, I'd date her, whatever. And then, like, a few hours later, the next day, he proceeds to ask said friend out. Hello? Hello? Last time I checked, her name wasn't Sammy. Hello? What? And this was after I had met Danny. Now... We're not going to get into this whole story, but I met him on a college campus when I was 17 and it was the best day of my life at the time. And then that happened. So that's when I started being like, maybe I shouldn't stand anymore. And then something happened and he randomly blocked me on Twitter. A buddy. <laughs> like, if anything, I should have blocked you. You were such a creep. And on top of the low-key sexual harassment, <laughs> this man also thinks it's okay to throw around the n-word. Now, I don't know if he does it anymore. He was 14. He might have changed. He might have apologized. I don't know. But when he was famous on YouTube for being an exclamation point, this man, not only in the DMs, because he said it to me multiple times, but also on his account, like in his tweets, he would blatantly say the n-word. He made 
these 15 year old ass girls think it, it was okay to say the n-word when they were not a person of color now once again he was 14 so he might have been like oh like this is the cool thing to do eh, it was like years ago maybe he changed i don't know but uh ooh, yikes 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 <laughs> One thing, if you're not a person of color, maybe don't say the n-word, I don't know. I don't care what context you're using it in. If you're a white person or you're basically not African American and you say the n-word, uh, I have to choose to unstand because that's racist. Next. And this man also, I once again do not remember word for word because this was like six, seven years ago, but this man would blatantly uh, joke about suicide all the time to the point that it made me very uncomfortable. Like, it was so bad. Like, I'm pretty sure at one point he joked about self-harm and I was just like, yeesh. <laughs> like, we have to choose to understand. So I did. Now... That's basically all I have. Um, <laughs> I was a huge person in this fandom when I was younger. Like, I had this Twitter account and everyone, and I mean everyone, shipped me with Danny. Our ship name was Sedge. <clears throat> Disgusting. We do not stand anymore. So, now I'm gonna tell you some YouTubers to stand instead of Paul and Danny. Paul does seem like he's changed a little bit, but I do not, I'm not convinced that Danny's changed at all. So, uh, Danny, if you're watching this, stop throwing Paul under the bus and maybe look at yourself and change, I don't know. <laughs> but here's some YouTubers you should stand instead of Paul Zimmer and Danny Edge. Uh, one. It's a duo. It's fine. Cody Ko and Noel Miller. Uh, Tiny Meat Gang. Yes, they're hilarious. Uh, they their videos always make my day. Number two, Curtis Connor. Uh, we love um we love a good mayor. Uh, he's hilarious once again. Real master at the green screen, and we just we love that for him. Go watch him if you haven't already. Just be ready for a lot of quirky editing. <laughs> Number three, uh, our first female on the list, Maddie Drosbeck. Uh, I've been watching this girl since around the time I started watching Danny and Paul, and let me say, truly a positive influence in my life. Never met the girl, but she really helped me with my confidence throughout high school and college, so we love her for that. And those are just some of the many YouTubers that I watch, but uh, those are the first three Four that came to mind so if you don't watch them do it go stand them go buy their merch go buy aphrodisia on amazon aphrodisia is that the name no that's the film shit go watch aphrodisia <laughs> right it's truly such a masterpiece um i will leave all their links below so yeah, that's the end of this video. This was a little tea spill time, it's fine. This is very different for my channel, but I felt like I had to say something because this has been going on for way too long and if they don't learn from their ways, they're just gonna continue being pieces of shit. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week, bye.